here we are on the fourth literally the tightest hole in Christendom um, designed entirely to mess with the heads of the amateur golfer uh, and indeed Lee Whitaker. Uh, so many people will take a driver off this because it's a par five yeah it's just not a par five you go for in two brutal yeah. hole doesn't get it doesn't get any wider as you go down it either unless you're a proper player and as me and you on not on we'll just play it as a par five right i've got four iron it's a nice strike just needs to hang on come down yep middle of the fairway a little bit wafty but it'll you take it on this hole. Oh, all day long. Right, here's Miles. What have you got? Two iron. Two iron from the previous one. Try and keep it a little bit straight than, as you say, not a driver hole, this one. No, it's just a stay and play hole. A little bit. It's a really bumpy uh, teeing ground here. Yeah, it's being repaired. I don't know why we're on this one, but it's being repaired at the minute. Well, it's a Duffy, and but it's fine. got so little spin on it, it'll probably be up near where my forehind is or past yeah, it. Come around the corner. Not a great strike, but... It's in play, it's on the fairway. You have a big chunky thing that gets you out of things that go badly wrong. <laughs> so Lee, not having the best day of the putter yet, but he's hit a lot of fairways right in the middle. I am just up on the side here. Neither of us with a brilliant line in, given the... Uh, narrowness of this hole as you can see but we will go yeah, and this see hole, what we can do. You ideally want to feed it round and be down there so you've got a better line in at it because from here for a draw like me I've got to take I've got to basically take it out of bounds and bring, and it, back. Draw it, bring mm. it back into that uh, tree in the distance and as everything kicks that way it's a challenge it's, uh, it's not a nice shot get off get off oh, I've killed it no, no, I'm picking it up. No flies were harmed in the making of this video. Right, so I've got six iron. Just play for position, hopefully. Over the edge of those trees and try and draw it back onto the fairway. Oh, that should be fine. Keep drawing. Yeah, it's flirting with it, but I think it's okay. Uh, yeah, mine's be okay, but it's just on the edge. But Miles is actually not over there, like he thought. Yeah, that was, and he's that exactly was a, bit, that was a feather. Exactly where I said you wanted to be to open the hole up a bit more. Oh, I've duffed it. Oh, he's duffed it, but it'll be okay. It'll be fine. It down it's just there. running over this way, okay. round by the path. Under the path and across. Just being the size of stuff. Oh, toying with the uh, the hazard, the edding. All right, so Miles is 42 to the middle. He's actually just out of the hazard, but it's, one. it's a tough shot here. For me, this is just like a little chip with a little chippy one. Let it yeah, run out. I think this might be a stab it along the ground with a bye-bye. Yeah, that's perfect. Exactly what you needed to do. Not, yeah, not ideal, but we'll gives you a chance. Gives you a chance when up and down for par still. So Lee has uh, hit a good shot. He's got over the corner. I think there was a bit of a, a bounce kick left for it, but. Well, I said it at the beginning. It all feeds down, doesn't it? It does indeed. Uh, how far have we got? Do I bring the buggy over? Not sure we need to, Lee. It's not more than twenty paces. I'm sure you can live with that. This is not my yardage, well. Not at all. This is what I would normally fear the hook into the pond. Stay up, stay up. It's not my best, but I don't feel confident with that shot at all. That pond is, has your name on it, doesn't it? Don't like it, don't like it. This is Lee's enemy. No the pond and the pond past it yeah. not not a fun one if you have a natural right to left shape this honey nope don't like it 
Quite a miles he's done all right actually, so he's here for three, so he's got a chance of an up and down. So going back to, uh, to the first lesson I think we did all the way back in o Oakhampton on um, putter stroke uh, chipping. So this is pitching wedge and trying to just run it up there on these dry days. Okay. Let's see how it goes. A little bit speedy, I feel. Nope. I'll take, I take it all back. Best pro on YouTube. Best I take it all back. Good example of what Lee taught me there. What's that? Making sure that. Uh, you want a short game, coach? <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of, don't worry, I'm clear. Trying to get a bit of loft out of your hand rather than the higher lofted stuff around the green and just run it up, takes all the risk out of it. Right, Lee is on in three. Chance for a birdie here. Didn't you birdie this for the first time recently, Lee? Uh, this morning, yeah. Good man. Well, that was then and this is now. Right. I'm just happy to par it now, since you're there for par. Normally I'd give you that, Miles, but we're making you put the card in. You are indeed. A good effort. I'll take it. Not making me mark my ball, strangely, but... Well in, good five. Good five. Right, just a tap in for par for, Bert, for Miles. Very well done. Thanks. So, minus five, plus two. I'm running out of holes. So another tight hole here, this short, short uh, par oh, three. Yeah, nine, that breeze is up a bit. Yeah, there's a fair bit of breeze down into us. It funnels down here. There's a bunker right, and what you can't quite see from here is this entire green on the left and to the round of the back is ringed by a little lake. So, quite a bit of breeze now, as you can probably on, hear. On three would be nice. Just a little jewelry nine iron into the flag. Would be lovely. I think he might have done it as well. That's looking very pretty. Bouncing up now, rolling up. A bit short, but a good strike. Not bad, take it. So I've definitely got a four. <laughs> the whole psychology module wasn't part of what you did, was it? No, not very good at that. I want you to beat me, because then it shows I'm really good at golf coaching. I'll tell you something else about Lee, but we're not going to talk about that. That's, what, that's why I went three over through two. Good to know. Yeah. Right, Miles has got... So we've got nine, it's 125 but into the breeze, so, you know, 10 yards off that probably. We'll try and okay. make a reasonably smooth one. We shall see. Oh, it's hit a really good one. If that takes a good kick off the right bank. Oh, it never bounces that way, ever. It literally kicked perpendicular to where it should have done. That never ever bounces right and you just bounce I've, I've right. I've had my luck, Lee. I'll take that one. That's just what it is. So those who've never played here, this wraps around the entire fifth hole. So left is a no-go. So most people, like Miles, will go from the right and it bounces in normally. But yeah, this unlucky little man not so much as this one. Little man, sod off. Pitched it, who's six foot two. So this is now the uh, the um, most difficult chip in the world. Yeah, so is, he's now... There's a lump there. There's a big bump there. To the water that Lee has just described. And that's literally on a downslope. So, um, yeah. Good luck. Cheers. And I put it in the water. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Someone's dropping from over here now. He's just, I think he feels sorry for me. Oh, can we see it? Can we see it? Uh, no. Oh, there it is. There it is. Found it! Oh, I reckon you can play that. <laughs> there it is. Are you going to get it? No. No. Nope. Where, where do I drop here then, Lee? One club length, that way, from there. Oh dear. 
club or two club lengths, I can't remember all. About there, it's fine. I've got the wrong club here, I'm going to go get, go back and get my pitching wedge. Oh, okay, bye. You can play. It is not the hole to be getting, having the wrong club in your hand. Although to be fair, I don't think he planned to thin it into the water. Here he comes. Whoa, what an athlete. You watch yourself. And he's back. Uh, so that was not the plan, Lee. Well, I'm, I'm sure when now. you were stood over that ball, you didn't think... Two, three, drop four. Playing mm. five. Mm. This no. will bring you back into contention. No, you're playing four. Playing four, sorry. And I've duffed that one as well. Oh, this is not turning out to be a good hole, Lee. This is, uh, sometimes one hole doesn't define you as you're a player, but it will define the score of this match. <laughs> oh dear, well that's not gone well, viewers. On the flip side, there's not, it's not a definite that I'm going to two-pot this. Well, he's got quite a lot of right, that same ridge you've just a lot of right to left. Over. Coming across, got to run down after. Left it low, it's coming down. That is the worst part, I nearly shanked that. So I've got oh, God, that God. for a five and Lee has that for his three. I hit that putt so far off the heel, it was borderline a shank. Another putter. Lee for his three. Leave for four there, so I have this for five to limit the damage. What a silly pot! A four from there is not what the doctor ordered. Yeah, literally, honestly, mate, I nearly missed that pot with a pot head. All right, miles for five. Could really do with this. Oh! A couple lip outs today. So that has triple bogey. ruined his score. So he's now minus two. Yeah. But I had a bogey. So I am plus three again. So five shots in it. There's only four holes to play. So it's not all over yet. Beautiful day here in Dartmouth. Rolling countryside. Oh, and a really tight hole that slants right to left. What a surprise. Five shots in it. Minus two, plus three. Sixth hole, you want to go up the right because it'll all kick down to the left. And if you go left, there's uh, nothing down there, as I have found out plenty of times. So I'm just going to aim for the left edge of that bush in the middle of the two fairways and try and draw it off. And if it doesn't, it'll go straight at it. It's a lovely strike, gone dead straight. Oh. Bouncing, there's a bunker up there. Hopefully he's not in that, but that was a lovely strike. I'll tell you what, I absolutely, oh I got it out. Absolutely love this. Yeah, Dan's got a five word that is like his, like it's a joke how straight it goes. I think I might have one of them as well. <laughs> the love affair with the G425 continues. Oh, like, I might even have to get the three word. <laughs> I mean, the hybrids are class, as I've proven in many a video, and to the point where you now own them. Yeah, I do. Um, and and that's that not me. Did a video comparing with yeah. then hybrids. And I didn't sell them to you, so you didn't buy them from me. So it's not like I was just doing it so you could buy them off me. The driver is the easiest driver in the world to hit. So I just don't know why more people don't play the G425. Apart from the fact it sounds horrendous. But other than that, it's a really good club. Right, Miles with a two iron. Good choice, as long as he starts it up the right enough. A little bit heavy, but it's coming around lovely, and that is just going to run for days on these fairways. Another bit heavy strike. Just catching it a little bit heavy, but the good thing is about two in that club choice, is you are literally now in the middle of the fairway, and because it's hard and bouncy, 
you'd have been as far yeah. now as you would have been if you'd have pured it in the winter. Indeed. So. Uh, it's a lovely forgiving club, this one. Play to your strengths. I have 108, it'll be about 106 by the time I step up to the ball. So Miles is here, he's got 106 in, and that just proves like a, like a, he's fatted the rubbish out of that. Yeah. But because it's hard and bouncy and it's a club that he's confident with, it's still has one on. So. Nice and safe. So it's 83 front, 106 middle, somewhere yeah. in between those. It's about a 95 yard shot with this, yeah. I think. You do it. Oh, God. He is literally thin thinned it. Thinned it. Stop. I can't see it in here. Where is it? Down to the back left. Down the back left. Thin to two or three now. I'm not getting my rhythm right. No. Rhythm. Hey, I may not have been recording that, but you have hit a lovely, lovely <laughs> shot. You're an asshole. Apologies, everyone. Lee's first good shot off a fair way of the day. Keen to talk, Miles, aren't you? <laughs> So Wait. unfortunately after a solid start it's all started, the wheels have a bit come off now. Yeah, well that's alright, up and down it. Still a par isn't it? It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Uh, not the greatest stance, as you can see his ball's below his feet. It's on a good line. Oh, we just don't know. Oh, he's doing a Rick Shields. Rolled all the way onto the back. He's doing, the he's doing a Rick Shields. Not much that's what he does. Clicks like that. Not much broken, That's where you know. got it from, wasn't it? You just want to be Rick, don't you? Who are you? Yeah, so that one's run on a bit. I couldn't really have hit that from yeah. there much better. It landed just on the edge of the ground. Run on a bit and my pitch wasn't great. Because I knew it wasn't being filmed, I didn't want to pull off a world here. So you only got one around, so you need to save it up. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you go and tap that in. It's in for a five and that puts you to minus under. one. One under, three to play. Minus one, three to play. But really, play some good golf, it's just one hole. Yeah, had one absolute horror, but apart from that, so, so be it. That's golf, isn't it? That is golf. Lee will have got a read off me there. Yeah, it's going to come off the right, that's for sure. Then off the right. The birdie would be lovely. What am I, plus three, aren't I? Yeah. You are. Birdie would be lovely, but I'll take a part. Tap that in, Lee. Didn't really go for that. All in. So, four shots in it, three holes to play? I think so. 